get the chocobo rocking. Audi, time for chocobo! What gate are you? What gate are you? Yes, what gate? Oh. <coughs> what? How do I... Oh, do I have to take the fucking boat? I think I have to take the boat to get to that part. I think. I could be wrong. Is there even a teleport crystal there? Eh, I'll take the ferry. Skipper Badoo and the monkey shit his pants. Whoa, whoops. Sorry. What, which one is that? Yeah, El Port Coastal Saw Mist. Oh, okay. I guess it's not any of those. What the hell's at the zone? What kind of what, what magic is this? I mean, it gets there, but Middle Anosia. Oh, Zephyr Gate. Okay. All right. I kind of forgot the layout of Lanosia Touch. It's been a while. Even if it's vanilla content that's been around for 10 years? Wait, how old is this Is this game? I think about it. Is it 10 years old? Whew. I think it is. Don't you, don't you love a situation that makes you feel old as fuck? <laughs> it is kind of funny hearing a... Hearing 20-year-olds at my workplace say, Oh, man, I feel old as fuck. It's like, oh, God, try being 30. Before you know it, you'll be 40 in, like, in 20 seconds. Now that is feeling old, buddy. Then when your body breaks down, well, I, I haven't really experienced old age breaking down yet. Maybe it's not as abrupt as, maybe it's more gradual. Maybe I can't run as fast as I used to. But I don't know. I can't compare night and day right away. Oh, you can actually physically see a downed airship. How fascinating. Oh, it's a dealie. Oh, I better call my little friend here. So my swift cast would be reset. 24. 24. Let's go. Yes. Big burly motherfucker hiding behind bushes. At least the bush is actually kind of big. Hey. Who? What? Is that me stepping on it? An adventure? What are you doing out here? No, wait. Let's find some cover first. Yeah, let's stand fully upright. That way, they're all looking away. What is it on there? It's an airship. Never heard of it. Oh, good thing your grass rendering is just good enough for us to hide. Maelstrom Command sent you? How do I know you're not an Imperial spy? You don't even have a uniform. A goob. Uh, he's not even going to do the mouth flapping warrior of light thing? Be at ease, sir. We are the Maelstrom. You are a Gar Garland Ironworks engineer, yes? One of our lookouts re reported a the attack on your craft. We're here to rescue you. You must be Nightingale. Good work on reaching our friend out here before the Imperials. Blech. There's no way they can see us in our bright clothes in this area in broad daylight. I've never seen a craft of this design. It must be Gar Garland's work. There's no end to that man's treachery. The secrets of Magitech belong to Imperial hands. They are not to be squandered on Eorzean savages. We are taking this craft to the fortress. Dismantle it if you must. And bring it bring the engineers. Someone must pay for Gallian crimes. Garland's primes. Garland. Hmm. Scouting party from Castrum Osis. 
I'd say they see, uh, say seems they want your uh, ship engineer. Wedge, you have to help him. The f the fool of a lala fellow is hiding inside a tiny bronco. The tiny bronco? Isn't that a new design people have been whispering about? It is the first airship we built since the calamity. The first. The first in the mail. Doesn't it have, like, oddly enough, like a Scottish accent? The first since Master. I can't do it right now. I don't know. Well, since he went missing. After years of work, she was finally ready for her first flight. And she was sorry. She really was. Till those bastards blasted us out of the sky. Alright, pay attention. We're going to hit these Imperials hard and fast. They want a they want a souvenir from Eorzea. They can have a knife in the in the gut, but they're not getting the sh that ship. Oh, and don't forget to save the lava fell. What what are you saying, Nightingale? Ready to give our those curs a hiding? E. Yes, I will shoot balls at him. I like a tidal wave, lads. Charge! Whee! Take out your weapons first, maybe. Oh, there you go. Hold on. An ambush! Times. I will hit you with book. I will show you the way you have to of a unicorn. Oh, okay, we have curing people. They have curing people we need to take care of. It looks like a black mag. They don't have any backups. That's kind of that Garuda Instacast. Is that like a burst? Like an AoE? That'd be nice. Oh, that guy's like a tanky one. Okay. I'll take down the weak ones first. Then the herd. They probably might have reinforcements show up and it'll be like, God damn, they are hard to kill. Stand with the hard one there and I'll just do this. Oh, not there. Savage, you gotta stun the might of the Empire! Yeah, well, you're by yourself, bro. Oh, you're curing yourself? Like a paladin doing cure. You know, and not clemency, just doing cure. I remember that was a thing. Oh shit. Big fucking Vanguard dude. Well, let's kill this dude first. He's almost dead. He must be a paladin. He's doing his cross cast. Good piece. Kill the ads first. Oh. Now we focus our attention on that giant machine. Hit him with the Earthian Shatter, Carby. And yeah, now stand before me and just look at me. Give me emotional support. It's kind of weird how they just, they're designated to just stand there. They don't even do any form of auto attack with you. The only thing I can tell them to do, do this. Give me the shield, Radiant Aegis. Where you going, buddy? Oh, okay. I could get close and at least auto attack and they'll whittle him down quicker. Now oh, you're doing your weird thing. Is that all? Yeah, that should be. you think the big machine would be all, but and it was. Ow! Biggs! Oh. Biggs! Well, just shouldn't have stayed with that ship. That was a close one. Too damn close. So how she look anyway? The auxiliary propeller is dead loss, but I think we can what we can ring it back, ring enough to thrust. Uh, was that ring? Ring enough to thrust it from the main propeller to get us airborne. 
A few minor moderations. We, we should be able to fly the tiny Bronco home. We'll stand watch until the ship is ready to take off. The Imperials will come looking for the scouts eventually. But I doubt they'll get here a good enough while yet. Mangale, you're free to return to the Maelstrom Command and complete your inter interaction. Ordinary, I'd ask you to stay, but I think I feel better knowing an adventure of your ability was safely sworn and ready for the next mission. Rest assured, all informed command will be a part of pay today. Uh, I, um, I wanted to say sorry, you know, for calling you an Imperial spy and all that. Got that one wrong, didn't I? Haha, <laughs> seriously though, if I hadn't been for you and the Maelstrom lads there, we would have been chained up in a dungeon by now. I'm in your debt, friend. We both are. Wedge? Wedge? Uh, thank you. We're very grateful. What? You're a messy. Okay, now we can go back to command. Oh. We can just uh, return, right? Pray. Oh. oh, not quite. I'm not even going to wait that amount of time. I'm lazy. What's it going to cost? Well, eh, it's only like a hundred dollar. You know, I would, I'd run back, but I'd rather ride back with a fucking mouth. I don't know how much quicker it is unless they made normal movement quicker now. And we go back to... Is it more obvious? No, oh, down here. The off castle. Oh, yeah. Since they, these are probably the free accounts, since you can't shout, they do it and say now. And they just stand that gathered plaza to try and sell Gil. It's kind of a shame that it has to resort to that, but that's how it is. Yes, sir. Oh, come back. Oh, yeah, red paint. Cool. Okay. How much more do I have to do to get your filthy little mount? Let us start afresh, shall we? We are your mission. Okay. I, I don't like your jarhead getup, anyways. I don't like any of your jarhead getups. The Royal Nurse of Underrated Well Respected Adventure shows our adventure ranks. Grand Company simply allowed the consumer soldiers to city state, and more standing in nations at least. I don't even know if I want to fully read this because it's really just a faction thing. We may also have a charge of meeting the great opposed primals. It's pretty much the same thing. They're opposed to primals and the calamity, the garlians, you know, all that stuff. Every man and woman serves under the colors of the pain of keeping their worship. Limsa Lamenza, whatever chief. But what, what the hell is your name? It's pronounced again. Mel Webb? Like, what the fuck? As part of the Grand Vessel's crew, you would be expected to turn oars. For the winds and look for them formidable. And then, uh, yeah, they, obviously, their metaphors are all about sea and all that kind of shit. Because they're piratey. That's their origin. Last drop of blood. We give them the service of the nation. And no less expected of you. Nightingale, it's customary of your recruits, I swear their oath is choosing. You have my sword, till sea swallows all. What skills have yours, till sea swallows all? I will follow the Admiral, the very bomb of the US. This is his sword. Even though I don't have no sword. That's funny. It was I didn't even move, he didn't even flop his mouth, okay. But by the way, I keep it, the weapon's close in hand, lad. Fine, I will assign you to the private third class. You are now officially a soldier in the maelstrom. Oh, private maester, limbs of the or she falls all. Eh. Uh. A goo. Oh? A goo? Can you hear me, Spud? This is Minfilia. The officer of Minister contacted me in the news of years time for me. I am congratulations, Private Nightingale. I have no doubt about it. You'd be eager to acquaint a new comrades. I would ask you to be one's first. Remember, you're a man of the storm. 
You are no less a scion. Pray return to the weakened sands and earliest convenience in this ass. Some friends who would be very like the meat. We shall be waiting. No rest for the wicked, eh? Before you may go out, I recommend a word of Commander Greek. He might have you for a word for a while. Eh? Eat? Uh, uh, who? A goom? Oh, okay. He may not request a little chocobo maelstrom by speaking to Ricky. Of course, we can believe the main scenario of how I was born. Okay. Ugh. Holy shit! Yes, I already know about the stuff. That's a good thing. And you say something about my little chocobo. Chocobo whistle. Yes! Yes! What do I have to do? What do I have to do? Present the stone chocobo to you. Wait, huh? Okay. I don't know why it's red. It makes me concerned. Present the storm chocobo insurance. Oh, do I have to buy it or something? Or something? Do I have to buy the insurance thing? Uh, what about you, Quartermaster? I think it's a Quartermaster. Do I? Hope not. That'd be lame. I have to dare over it. Oh, look. Yeah, I do need Storm Chocobo insurance. Shit. Uh, I have to do that before any of this. Okay. Uh, what do I do again? That is kind of undertakes providing missions. Oh shit, this would be making stuff. Expert deliveries? Yeah. How do I get storm seals? I think doing fates gives you storm seals, if I done recall. Which I only need 200, which I guess you could do. That's probably what I, I'm gonna do. Ugh. I only need a 200, it's not so bad. It's annoying that I had to do that. So, uh, I figured out a very quick solution, as you can see here. I did a, uh, a leave, a grand company leave. I completely forgot that the, that's the best way to get your seals. So I just quickly did just one of those. I guess because higher level yields up obviously more of the points. So I'm like, oh shit. I did like, I did one fate and I'm like, 22 seals? What? It was probably because it was a low level fate. And not to mention, people are fate farming like monsters in this content. And since they've completed the main story quest, they're just flying all over the place, and I can't, I can't catch up to, the, I can't catch up to the fate in time. So I like, there has to be another thing. Then remembered Grand Company leaves, and there we go. We should be able to get our chocobo. Get the chocobo rocking, outie, down for chocobo. Uh, oh, you go to quartermaster. My bad. We go to quarter. Give me a quarters, man. A chocobo license, yes. There you go. Now we can go to that person, that little chocobo. You are over yonder? Wait, where is this? Oh, okay. It's the main plaza. Let's get our chocobo! It's about damn time, Bobby. So eager. I'm, I'm stoked to finally have a fucking mount. Woo! Woo! Man, earning things over time. My chocobo's gonna look so cute because it's gonna be a lala sized chocobo. It's probably gonna be like a baby chocobo. Is that what they ride? Or do they just have small breeds of chocobos? Hey, buddy! You want bird issued? Yes, I have it right here. Read them and weep. There you go, sir. Oh, hmm. Yes, everything appears to be in order. A moment, please. I'll be right back with your chocobo. That's a woman, I think, actually. It's a damn mask. The mask necessary to fostering chocobos. I guess they see them as themselves. And there he is. Fellow has been in high spirits the past few bells. He must be. He must have sensed his master was coming. 
Now then, make it official. I want to give you a noble steed your name. A name. Oh. Que? Wait, we give it a name? Oh, do I also have it as... Is it also the... Is it my fighter, too? Okay. Uh, I'm going to have to think of a damn name. Uh, what? Where? Unless, actually, I think they might be prefab names. Is it not loading in? Oh. Uh, hi. You've grown quite a bit. Quah! Oh, I can just come up with a name. Uh, shit. Oh, what goes with a, a little... Let's call him Little Chode. Probably not. Uh, give me a moment. Hmm. I'm trying to think of one. What would be a good name? Let's go with Broku. Broku! How about... No, actually, let's go Boku. I don't know. Boku! I don't care enough. Maybe. Okay, I'm just trying to think. Spud Nightingale and Boku. I don't know. I, I'll just go Boku. Quah! Alright. Got Boku. Got Boku on our side. Not like the name matters. As a person who writes license, it's frequent to lie law from another conclude formality as long as a compen. Yeah. yeah, my little chocobo. Personal chocobos. Does it actually have the name listed anywhere? I'm pretty sure you can I don't know if I can do that quest yet. Okay, so we must consume it first, because that's how this works. And thus we have our mount guide somewhere, I'm guessing. Uh, where is it? Mount guide. Oh, that, oops. Oh, companion. Oh, wait. He's a, he actually is a companion? Oh. Do I just... I thought you had to do a quest for that. Okay, we will set on the hot bar. Since he's going to be our only mount, I guess, on number four. Yeah, we're right there. Can't do it in town. Apparently, I need to get gazelle greens. And I can summon them. Where do I buy them again? I remember there was all a vendor in Limsa. I try a bunch of these shops. I want to see if I can summon them. That'd be nice to actually have to do the hunts. I have a chocobo buddy. He'd be my only party member. <laughs> hmm. How do I go first person again? All right, all right. Let's just see. Is that a new sitting position? Looks like Meteon. Eh, we remember Meteon. But Meteon, I guess that's the closest you can have. Because she's a bird-like creature. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You just stand there all day, huh? You just stand there all day. What is with you, people? What is with you? I think you need counseling. Is the Jades here? They're not here. Did they get a life? Have they, have they learned their ways? Anyways, <laughs> Well, shit. Let me look on the good old internet with the power of the phone. The power of the phone precedes you. Let's Google, senpai. Let's see, uh, FF14. Kihelba greens. I don't even know how to fuck this man. Motherfucker. Limbs of the Limbs are lower their decks. Bango Zango. Bango Zango? That's a name? We are in Lower Decks. Where's Bango Zango? Where the fuck are you, Bango? I'd just be like, you have to fulfill a quest first. The Silver Green. Oh man, I'm gonna. I'm probably just gonna buy a bunch of them. I don't wanna keep coming back here. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, and now we, uh. This is my inventory. Assigned to Hotbar. And I'm able to use a pen and not acquired yet. Okay. Well, at least I have Gazelba Greens when it is. There we go. Our Chocobo! Celebratory flip! 
but what the question is, how do I get him as a companion? <laughs> I'll look that up too, because I have so many quest markers I have to get caught up on, I'll have to do my downtime. Papalino and all them. So I just, I'm going to try to at least get to level 30 so I can get the Chocobo companion quest. So I'm just going to do the main story quest, hopefully it yields enough experience. Oh, it's not voice. Welcome back. It seems you wasted no time putting your skills at to work. How do I know? Why a recruitment officer called me to regale a tale of your heroics. The pride of his, in his voice was palpable. We scions are truly fortunate to have you with us, bud. Yeah, then last we spoke, I said I wanted you to meet uh, meet some friends. Did I not? Well, I neglected to mention that you may have already met. Tatar, please show him in. This way, sirs. Oh, yeah. Bigs and Wedge. Thanks again for helping us out with that mess. I owe you more lives. But I don't think we can properly uh, properly introduce ourselves. I'm Biggs. And I'm... I'm... God's man, spit it out, will you? Uh, Wedge, at your service. I'm pleased to say Biggs and Wedge will be staying with us for a while. Magitek driven con contraptions such as airship ever grow more vi vital to the city states of Eorzea. As a neutral party, uh, it was judged that we Scions should serve as keepers of this technology. Of course, we, ne we needed knowledge of experts, and so we requested the assistance of Garland Ironworks, who very kindly sent us two of their finest engineers. Our happy family continues to grow on behalf of the Scions. I, di I bid you welcome to the Waking Sands. The mouth flaps and sue. <laughs> like every soul here, I love Eorzea. Really? Okay. I count myself blessed to be given the chance to stand with you all and fight the future of the realm. Never have I known such fulfillment. Such happiness. Okay. It'd be nice to get voice cutscenes every now and then, but I guess it is every now and then, every seldom. Storm Seals. Again, I got Storm Seals during all that. Start the next one. Self management. <laughs> it's like self management, but self. <laughs> now, oh, having voice. set aside the formalities, cool. we have a favor to ask of you. Urianger, have the documents arrived from the students of Baldessian? Aye, my lady. They arrived but recently. We have conducted a study at the behest of the Order of the Twin Adder. Papalimo, Ida, a synopsis, if you would. Our task was to survey the behavior of the Sylphs. A beast tribe indigenous to the Twelves Wood. Oh, how to describe them. They look like gizzle greens, floating ones that worship the primal Ramu. Ahem. <clears throat> Though technically a beast tribe, Sylphs are blessed with a comparatively personable demeanor. Oh, Offering good. us an invaluable opportunity to learn what the beast tribes know of the primals. While Ramu's existence is well documented, the Sylphs do not, or perhaps cannot, summon the Primal any longer, insofar as can be ascertained. Until such time as we know, it would be unwise to assume that the threat posed by the Primal has passed. Which leaves Gridania with the added worry of not knowing what they should be worrying about. In that regard, they are hardly alone. What we can say with absolute certainty is that Gridania has its hands full fending off Garuda, who, I need hardly remind you, is among the most savage and terrible of all known primals. In short, it is essential that we approach the Sylphs in as diplomatic a manner as possible. Words and actions can be misconstrued, the only sure way to communicate our intentions is the Echo. 
Winning the Sylph's favor may well bring us a step closer to mitigating the threat of the Primals. Will you help us? Help I am grateful. Lovely. Well, as much as I'd like to help, I'm afraid I would be of little use to anyone in Gridania. A veritable babe in the woods. Ida and Papalimo, however, should be able to see the forest for the trees. Is that not so, Minfulia? Indeed. You are willing? Well, I... Leave it to me. I don't have a choice either. Us, Ida. Us. Oh. Whoa. Okay, time to go to Griddlesby. I don't even know why I call it Griddlesby. I just think it sounds funny. Do I even... Oh, I do have it. I'll, I'll just teleport there. Because we're in fucking Waking Sands in the middle of boonies. Do ding, do ding, do ding. <sighs> Can't be a lot of activity in New Gridania. Uh. So it's just over here. Yeah, we're gonna be almost activated into the next quest of. Speak to the, uh, the Tornado, so I guess we got to do every little thing in every city state and involve their beast tribes and maybe involving their, what's it called, the Primals. I didn't really talk to them, but whatever. I think it was a good experience. Oh, this one has a bit of a fading cutscene. I'll read these. Hail, adventure! I bid you welcome to an Adder's Nest. Do you seek to, en to entwine your destiny with the Twin Adder? Oh, the scions of the seventh nipple. Good evening, Commander. Sorry to disappoint you, but our business brings us here today. Yida and Papalino, as always, it's a pleasure to me see you two. My men tell me you're, you quest in the name of the scions of late. Quite so, Commander. A little, a bit, uh, a, bir a little bird told us that the twin hatter is needed in our adventuring prowess. Aye, a little bird sings true. No doubt you're, you heard of what we're investigating, the Sylves. A curious beast tribe who calls in the depths of the Twelves with home. The Sylphs are, for the most part, a peaceful bunch. Much to the delight of the Elder Sea Seer, who has no desire to see the pure people embroiled in yet another feud fruitless war. The Twin Adder uh, is the same mind, and tis... <coughs> And it is precisely for the reason that the Sylphs' relation to the Primal Remua has raised the flag of warning amongst our ranks. Friendly as they may appear, beastmen will be beastmen. Should there be ever, should there even be a, a sliver of chance of summoning the Primal might, might disturb the balance between Gridania and the Sylphic tribes, it is possibly <coughs> it is a possibility we cannot ignore. Better be safe than sorry, indeed. Do we strike at Ramu? <coughs> Damn it, I got shit caught my throat. Why now? Or leave it to the Sylphs in their own ways? That is the question. And yet I fi find myself lacking ample knowledge to arrive at an answer. What am I doing my water? Opin opinions abound within Gridania, but listen to one's own is among the greatest mistakes that the commanders can make. I would hear from the other side, the Sylphs themselves, seek an Im impartial party to serve as a, li a, li a liaison. And then, <coughs> and that is where you scions come in. Yeah, words! Ugh. The Sylphs had little solace remain untempered, and yet, he and, yet <coughs> and held many productive dialogue with our people. I would hear that their candid thoughts on their tempered brethren. That said, I urge you to exercise due caution. Sylphetic tradition is and etiquette bear little resemblance to their own. It will be it will do not <coughs> it will do not have any cross cultural fox pass. What the hell what the hell is that word? 
You're getting in the way of productive parlay. En route to Little Solace, you find yourself upon the Hawthorn Hut. Our offer station there. Our officer station there can enlighten you with the Sylphian's favor. May the expedition be a worthwhile one. A friendly palver uh, with the Sylphs. This should be a pleasant enough diversion. The Hawthorne Hut. Why, I believe a ferry departing with the Warshore Pier with us right there. Oh, yeah, okay. A friendly palver indeed. Let's go. Let's go, my pull ups. Okay, as I said, I think you can take a ferry there. Uh, I think that's like at the Leather Workers Guild or some shit. Oh, I'll see when I hit the teleporter. Look at this crowd. Oh, it's not as much as uh, your typical... Uh, what the fuck? Does that actually give off light? I think it kind of does, that little minion. <laughs> What's this good? Oh, a bunch of earrings. Well, those would be good things to get at some point. <laughs> but, you can always make your own. I think the there's a bunch of accessory sets in the... I can't remember what that one's called. Oh, it's telling me to actually go there. But I think you can get, like, earrings from dungeons. Of course you can. But I think there's, like, a 32 dungeon. I just can't remember what it's called. I think it's, like, Brayflock's Longstep or some shit. I think that's what it's called. I totally don't remember what it's called, but I remembered what it's called. Why don't you head there to Hawthorne Hut? Let me know that I can take a pier to get here. Hey, Skipper! I'm guessing it's Sweet Bomb Pier. Oh, yeah, that, I think the lavender beds is the, uh, the housing district? Ah, yeah. You know what? Oh, okay. Anyways, uh, I can get on my chocobo. What am I thinking? Ah, yes. The ability to, to move fast now. One thing I was actually meaning to talk about is this. I don't know if I talked about it. In Final Fantasy XI, the sub-job quests. When, once you finally had that, it's like... It's, I just like the flexibility you had back then. But I feel like that's something Squaresoft doesn't want to do because it might upset the balance that they're trying to establish of all the classes. So trying to give some kind of sub I think they were going to call it hybrid classes, but they scrapped it. Yeah, I think I talked about this. Did I talk about this? Either way, we're here. So there's no need to fill the dead air. Ooh. Ah, oh, parkour. Parkour! I guess it's in the hut. Art. Yeah. Hey, buddy! We here! You're here. You are early. Indeed, I'm Amelia and the Twin Adder. I understand you are here to learn of the Sylphs, yes? For all their whimsy, they are a weary lot, particularly since the Empire has come to, shr to the Shroud. Earn their trust, however, as they are friendly as folk. They, they have their quirks, but so do we, no? Okay, let's just get going. Yeah! I'm gonna have to do my job quest at some point. I'm behind with Arcanist, so I don't even have the option to probably have him yet. Oh, this is just talking to people? What am I supposed to do? Uh, what, what are they saying? Are they saying anything of substance? I mean, I'm trying to read these more. Only because... I admit I, like, skimmed through a lot of this stuff in the past, and I'm, like, not even sure why we go into these points. I think we're just gathering, gathering information. They sustain themselves with even the sun. Okay. Centuries fell in the bottom of a ravine. Okay, go out here and talk to people. That's how it be, huh? You know what I think I should do? I might just go and do my Arcanist quest. Because that's something I was going to skip, but... Arcanist quest uh, might have some interesting things. But also, kickstarting the job quest would be... 
Good. And I have to do two of them. Yeah, so it would be within my best in intriguement. Wait. Do I already have it set? I think that's what this was. Grim Grimoire Fandango. Shit. I have to be here instead. I already got it. Uh, let's teleport to the airport. At least I made it cheaper. Shit. Well, at least I have the chocobo in order to do these little things, so it should go a lot faster. Uh, I think I skipped most of the Arcanist quest because it says, I don't know. <laughs> uh, on hindsight, maybe I should actually show, like, at relevant job quest things. Because even the class quests have their own little storyline. Everything has a storyline. These people are going trying to be big storytellers. How dare they? I know I can turn off the music somehow, but... You know what? Why would we? When you got this kick-ass chocobo music. And if we ever get any other mounts, they have their own... A lot of them have their own unique music. Storm Seagant. Who's ready to be a summoner? Well, I definitely want to at least be a scholar. Although, alternatively, a lot of the, the main story quests is like... Oh, yeah, the effects turned off. The main story quest stuff is, I think it's like... What is it, level 20? So I'm like 10 or nine levels ahead so i'm gonna try to get another class caught up to that so i can gain experience properly with that because it's under i imagine the bigger chunks i'd be getting uh i guess it's over here Grim grimra fandango speak with the local okay and yeah there's a lot of quests i gotta chip away i don't think i'm gonna show all that because it's tedious shit where is this guy here that's a quest giver. This glam prison, sir. That's kind of cool, I guess. Oh, you hiding back here? Uh huh. Hey, motherfucker. Uh, let me see. Go over there. Go over there, bitch. Yeah, bitch. Go over there. Mm. Yes. A lot of mean things. Is this the ones where the NPCs just fight it off? Oh, there you are. Calm down, music. Holy shit. Guildmaster mentioned something about you. Uh, what do I have to do? Find parchment. Oh. Oh. Oh, good for you. Oh, there's marks here. Okay. Oh shit. Get my chocobo. All oh, these effects that just fire out all of a sudden. How much do I have to kill here? Three. Okay. parchment somewhere here, so I might as well... I'm gonna lose my Garuda effect. Got 15 seconds to fire off. Oh, there it is. Cobalt! Stop hiding around that slight inclination and die now! There we go. Can I sleep them? Oh yeah, I can. It's no longer a... It's a caster thing now. Hey, <laughs> It's no longer exclusively a summoner thing. Or I mean a black mage thing. Now I'll wake them up so I can be aggro. Oh, it's apparently down in this little bone rack. Oh, how sneaky. Huh. Let's play xylophone with the bones. 
So why are we getting parchment? Because Grimoire Fandango says to do it. Allah forbids it. Can I please jump down here? Oh, I love my guy's voice. I chose an Arcanist nerd voice. I got your homework, kid. Whatever the hell is going on here. Have you tracked down those pieces of parchment? Yes, I have. Hey. Interesting. They actually exist. To be perfectly honest, I had you been a wild dodo chase. Look, at shall we have passing familiarity? Seek the box at Fools. Fool Falls, dance at a wooden audience. Oh, okay, go over there. Why am I? You must go to Fool Falls. I gotta pull my camera back. Anyways, back to beyond. Cockabo. I like cockaboing. Oh, it's kind of dark. I guess we gotta go up there. Unless there's an alternative route. Get caught on everything. Eh. Don't drink and chocobo ride. Can we cut through here? Oh, this side. Oh, yeah, do a spin of your knee. Let's avoid any of this. Unlock the damn rocks. Jam shot. Uh, dance. Apparently, do I have dance? I set. Like I said, a bunch of emotes. Okay, dance not. Got <laughs> dance before it. Seriously. Um. Uh, wait, I don't have regular dance. Um. Oh, okay. Uh, apparently, you're in trouble. I know I can type it up, but I prefer just doing this. Look at shit at typing. That's embarrassing. Oh, there it is. Dance. My dance. Open the box. Is uh, Am I going to have to fight these two? Okay. Technically, they don't have to fight it. Kind of wish I had my uh, group attack thing. thing to do. It's not giving me the interaction. Oh, there we go. The answer is you see something about Leek. Oh, she's flying! <laughs> I guess she's uh, just doing side quests. Later, friend! Hardly knew you. Why am I always left alone in the world of an AO of a of an M -M 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 Do a spinneroony. Left me in the dust. At least I have a chocobo to sem somewhat catch up. All the, by the way, oh, you can swim now. I thought you could in this area. Huh. Well, that's kind of cool. They added that. It may have been from the Stormblood expansion when they added the ability to go into water. Wait, what? Oh, do I... What is he asking me? Dance? You funny dance? Okay. Dance! <laughs> Little Lala dance. Isn't it great? Huh? Oh, now that was the most entertaining. I must have amused me. The little jaunts back to civilization, you understand. What? 
Based on my evaluation of your abilities, however, I calculated that you could arrive at the point somewhat earlier. You balked at the, at dan you balked at the dancing, didn't you? I never expected you to be so shy. <laughs> Another variable to add to your list of characteristics. I keep extensive me metal mental notes of the guild's members, you see. As an arcanist, it was simple matter of engineer events so that I might meet face to face. After all, strategy is a tool used to manipulate one's situation into a desired reality. And I so do, do enjoy seeing others dance in the palm of my hand, as it were. Here, you may have this. Think of it as payment for your performance. Pretty fucking big for Lala. <laughs> Though you might consider passing in the tome to Kahila. That is the reasons you sought for me, was it not? Before you give Kahila the grimoire, however, I must insist that you dance for her. I will know you don't if you don't. Uh, this, uh, this banal interaction has simply exhausted me. It is time I return to my studies. You, on the other hand, should travel forthward to the anchor yard in Limsa Laminsa. Be well, Spud. We shall meet again. I'm 100% certain of it. Well, j jolly good. Jolly good, homo. Can I return? Oh, I can't return. Uh, huh? Oh, a big fucking cr crab. Notice the crab that is ginormous over there. It is terrifying. But I will not deal with it, for I am cowardly and craven. And probably can use a boat to get there instead of doing this. Oh, yeah, I'm in Grant. Danya. Go back all the way to Limsa, anyways. <laughs> well, I can close that for now. So I went and did silly things, and the man was like, Ha! Huh, I just wanted to see you perform. I like watching people perform. Perform. Okay, he's on. He's not. No. Okay, what kind of crazy shit going on here? Whoops! I didn't mean to do that. How do I? How do I make a? How do I remove. Is it this? No. I can't remember how to remove the. Oh, there you go. I have to remove the HUD. Just want to see. Oh, okay. A lot of unique emotes. Oh. Oh, the jades are back. Just when we thought they were gone, they always come back. All right, Linda, L Lotus, Lotus. Oh, these are the lotuses, not the jades. Well, this is uh, some people spend their existence in a game not playing it, but I guess they got everything, and they're like, you know, next level, glamour. That's the true end game. Wait, where do I have to go? Do I have to go back to Arcanist Guild, right? Where do I have to go? Anchor yard and limbs of limbs. Oh, okay. All the way down there? Okay. The closest is aft. Grimoire Fandango. It's actually kind of appropriate because that fandango sounds like a dance. And we've been doing dancing in that. Hiya! Hiya! Anchor yard almost looks like the path looks like an anchor itself. Almost. What are you doing chilling all the way over here? I got your your grimoire. Oh yeah, I gotta dance. 
Hey. You like this? You'll be like, wow, where'd you learn that from? Were you always the were you always one for dancing? I don't recall such pre Ah. You have met our guildmaster, haven't you? Yes. I would explain your odd behavior. He does enjoy seeing people perform unexpected acts of frivolity. But it would spur the re reluctant guildmaster to speak with you in person. Now I guess I give you the grimoire. Grimoire Fandango. He gave you this grimoire to give to me. Uncanny! It is identical to him that I received at first when I met the leader. You have my thanks, Bud. The guildmaster is fond of games of mischief. I understand troublesome trials he likely put you through before deeming you worthy of his attention. With this gift, however, his message to me is abundantly clear. I am to shape the reality of, into one I desire. And that means defeating the Dasma Dasmaga. Gods, my mind is alive again with strat. Uh, was it? Gods, my mind is alive again with strategies. I must have time to think, pray, inform mistress of the, the return to duty. Was it, I think this is a 25. I know it has God And we're in the dead end area and I can't ride a coca cock cock a bow. Man, I wish I could turn this on. I wonder if the sensitivity is adjusted so for frame rate or something. It's just weird. Because I tried to jack it up in the very beginning and it did not want to jack up. It did not want to jack my bitch up, as the song would go. Hey, hey, crack my pick up. Hey, hey. Yo, I concluded Grimoire Fandango. Yeah, it was a 25. Uh, I'll just go for the gold piece. Uh, silver piece or whatever. Now, this would be concluding the Arcanist quest, but I think I'll just, uh... I'll just do that another time. So everyone, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more of this wonderful stuff. Be advised, do you want me to, to actually show doing the uh, doing the job quests? Some of them can actually be pretty fun. I do want to do, show the Hildebrand quest line if I ever get to that. Which I think that might be a level 50 thing. I could be wrong. But, yeah, well, just let me know. If you ever want to leave a comment, that would be kind of cool, I guess. So anyways, peace out, everyone. I get a good